Hello guys, my name is Zuram and today I want to talk about auto-loading of PHP classes, namespaces, traits, uh, interfaces and everything basically related to object-oriented PHP. In the following folder I have created a couple of folders, um, subfolders, a couple of classes and index.php. And the index.php includes all my classes which are in different subfolders and each of the class has a corresponding namespace, depending on in which folder the class is. So the class one um, is directly in the uh, root folder, so it doesn't have any namespace. The user class is in NS1 folder, so it has namespace NS1 and so on. This is the uh, recommended way of doing things and uh, you should be doing like this if you want to enable auto-loading of your classes, interfaces, traits, and so on. But if I want to include all my classes, so I need to write include statement a couple of times without auto-loading and then use with the namespace name. Imagine now the case that uh, each of our class extends another class like this, extends another class or uses a couple of traits here implements interfaces and you we pro probably we will come up with a lot of include and require statements in the project maybe hundreds or even more so auto loading was invented to solve this problem and um, completely remove not completely but remove include and require statements in our project okay how shall we do this? So I'm going to show you how to register your autoload uh, function, autoloader function, which will uh, include your classes, traits, interfaces, and so on. And after this, I'm going to show how to use Composer, which is advanced tool and which is what you should be uh, using um, every day. And modern, all modern frameworks basically use Composer. And I'm going to show you how to use autoloading with Composer. Okay. Let's start with our custom uh, autoload function. Okay. I'm going to register an autoloader like sp autoload register. And it accepts the function as an argument. And the function, uh, excuse me, and the function accepts class name as an argument. So what is this class name? Let me comment this include. And whenever you try to use class and if this class doesn't exist uh, the engine uh, lookups uh, registered autoloaders and executes the function so if we comment this one also and if we run uh, index.php we see here class class one not found okay that's clear, class 1 doesn't exist. If I include it, then it's, it exists, but the user class doesn't exist. Isn't it? Yes. So let's register autoloader and see what is the class name. Okay, so I'm going to echo the class name and exit right here. So I'm interested what is the class name. The class name is class 1. So if I don't use class, and I'm sitting here, so script is um, stopped here and doesn't continue. So right now, the class name should be this. Okay, so it is ns1 user. Okay, so basically, when the class doesn't exist, engine um, executes the callback function of the autoloader and assumes that the callback function includes this file. And after this, it, tr it checks this class again, and if it exists, that's absolutely fine. If it doesn't exist, then it tries to execute second autoloader if it's registered. Uh, you can register as many autoloaders as you want. I'm not going to make this example too complex, so I'm going to re register uh, only one autoloader and show like this. Okay, so here we know what is the class name. So I can simply include the class name. Okay, so let's execute the code. And here, still, 
the NS1 user doesn't exist. And this is because include statement of NS1 user was not successful. So this wasn't, ex uh, wasn't included. So to include this correctly, we need to start with the current directory. And uh, this class name has backslashes. Okay, so we need to use forward slashes instead of backslashes. So I'm going to use str replace uh, replace to search for backslashes and replace with forward slash. Okay, inside the class name. Now let's check if this includes the file. Let's run the code, and still, there's a problem. Uh, I see, we don't need this escaping of the forward slash. Okay, another error. Yes, the point is that I missed the file extension. Dot .php. Okay, so let's try. Now we don't see any error, which says that our autoloader works fine. Let's uncomment the class one also. And besides the autoloading, we can also print here what classes were autoloaded. Okay, let's run the code and here we see, okay, let me put the end of line. Here is, uh, here are all the classes which were autoloaded, okay? Right now, all my um, autoloading is related to class. So every file basically contains class inside it. But the autoloading works a similar way for abstract classes, interfaces, and traits. So I can just replace the class with trait and it works fine. I just cannot create an instance of, of it. Okay. Okay, now I can remove all include statements and these three lines autoload all your classes, interfaces, and traits in your project. So even if you have uh, extended in other classes, used multiple traits, interfaces here, and if, even if you have written here include and require statements, you can completely remove these include and require statements. This autoloader uh, will simply autoload everything. That's all simple. So I'm going to take this code and put in a separate file like auto autoloader PHP or autoload PHP and put this right here. And in my index PHP, the only file I want to require is autoload PHP. That makes my code much more readable. Now I want to show you how this is done with Composer. Composer is a dependency manager for PHP. It, uh, you declare your dependencies, uh, dependencies of your project, and Composer installs and autoloads all classes uh, of your dependencies. Classes, uh, interfaces, traits, and so on. If you don't have Composer downloaded and installed, you can check out the following page, which will be down in the description below. Click this Composer Setup Exe uh, to download it for Windows uh, and you can install Composer globally. Besides that, you can install also Composer locally for your project. You can find links in the video description of how to install uh, Composer locally for a project or for a Linux uh, operating system. I have already installed Composer on, on my computer, so uh, let's start. Okay, in order to uh, use the Composer's autoloading features or dependency management features, you need to initialize your folder as a Composer package. For this, you need to run Composer init. This will ask you a couple of questions, like the package full name. The package name con consists of vendor name and the uh, package name itself. So for this, uh, I'm going to put the code holic is the vendor name, which will be the unique name, uh, unique, let's say, namespace of the package. And the package itself is composer demo, which is fine. I'm going to leave it as it is. The description is optionally. The author 
skip it, minimum stability. You can basically skip everything, hit enter, um, and run it like this. This generated two files, Composer JSON, which is the Composer configuration file, which holds dependencies of your project and a couple of other information, and gitignore. The gitignore simply ignores the vendor folder. Now I can install other packages and use auto-loading feature of those packages. I'm going to install the following package, which is a PHP HTTP client. So below there is uh, installing instructions. So I can take this code and this code is if you have your composer file far locally in your project, but I have a composer globally installed. So instead of PHP composer far, I'm going to run composer require guzzle HTTP guzzle. This is the vendor. This is the package name. Let's run this. It needs a couple of seconds, so you probably need to wait. Okay, it's done. And it installed a couple of packages. So uh, lastly, our required package was installed. But before that, another package we are installed. This is because our package has those packages in dependencies. So that's okay. So we installed one package. It installed behind a couple of them. I don't care. The main thing is that I can use this package with auto-loading features. So here, vendor folder appears. And there is this auto-load PHP, which does basically what we want. So if you look at this auto-load PHP, it requires auto-load real. And if you follow this package, here are a couple of generated classes. And you can have a look at this, but the purpose of the class is to correctly register uh, all autoloaders for namespaces, for traits, and so on. So I don't care how this is behind. The main thing is that I can require vendor autoload PHP, and that's it. I can use the Guzzle HTTP package. Okay. The Guzzle HTTP package gives me possibility to make a requests to some URLs and fetch response. So I'm going to basically copy uh, the following code and put in my index.php. So I'm not including anything related to this client. I'm just using it. For URL, I'm going to use JSON placeholder URL for users. Uh, just I need to change this into HTTP because um, the package complains about the SSL certificate. Um, and let's run the code. And here is the JSON fetched from the URL. So instead of writing URL in it and all of the things which is necessary for making a URL request, I can simply use the Guzzle HTTP client and make the request with two lines. Okay, now we know how to install third-party packages which will be auto-loaded. But if I want to have my own classes, my own namespaces, traits, and so on in the following folder, uh, will they be auto-loaded also with this approach? Uh, we need to change something in Composer JSON. So in Composer JSON, I need to add auto-load key. And here I'm saying that I want to autoload this with PSR4 and the, the code holic is basically here the namespace. So this namespace will be under this folder. Okay, so I can create here the source folder and create some class here like user. Uh, I need to create a class user and the namespace is the code holic let's create this class okay now let me remove the folder now i can use i can try to use let me comment this line or even remove it now i can try to use the uh, user from the code holic now i can run index php but it won't work like this because the autoloader does not search in my source folder. For this, for this, I need to run composer 
update, which will look at the composer JSON and depending on the keys and values written right here, will update some things. And right now you see generating auto loading, auto load files. Now, if we run index.php, we don't see any error. Now the source folder was added in Composer's autoloader, and now we can use the greatest feature of Composer. So I can create as many folders and as many classes, interfaces, and traits under source folder as I want. Just make sure that the folder name and the sub namespace name matches each other. You will find some useful links down in the video description below regarding autoloading, composer, and so on. So definitely check out the video description. If you like the video, please provide a nice comment, hit the like and subscribe buttons. If you don't like the video, hit the dislike button. And thanks for watching and see you in the next time.